For this problem, we are required to derive an expression for the value of n moment and for deflection at mid-span. Step number 1. Determine the value of reaction, wall shear, and wall moment. Dito sa ating prop beam, meron tayong reaction sa prop support or sa point B, tawagin natin tong RB. Meron din tayong shear sa built-in support or sa point A, tawagin natin tong shear A. Meron din tayong moment, tawagin natin tong MA. Dahil hindi pa natin agad makukuha yung value ng MA, shear A, and reaction sa point B, hayaan lang natin sila muna na unknown. Step number 2. Sketch the elastic curve of the beam, taking into account the boundary conditions. Kapag nagdrawing tayo ng tangent line sa elastic curve sa point A, horizontal yung magagawa natin na tangent line. Yung value ng slope at point A is equal to 0. At dahil walang deflection sa built-in support, yung value ng Y is also equal to 0. Kapag naman nagdrawing tayo ng tangent line sa prop support or sa point B, Yung value ng slope natin sa point B ay hindi na equal sa 0. Pero yung value ng deflection natin sa point B is equal to 0. Step number 3. Use the method of sections to determine the bending moment M at an arbitrary distance X from the origin. Para sa problem natin na to, yung prop support or yung point B, yung gagawin ko na origin ng X. Bakit hindi ako sa built-in support nag-take ng origin ng X? One rule sa double integration method is kailangan gawin natin continuous hanggang sa last segment yung loading ng beam. Kapag yung built-in support yung ginawa natin na origin ng X, kailangan natin gawin continuous itong uniformly varying load. Magdadagdag tayo ng load at gagawin rectangular load yung uniformly varying load at ibabawas yung dinagdag natin. Kailangan kasi yung uniformly varying load is increasing as it approaches distance x. Ganito ngayon, yung magiging loading ng beam natin kapag sa point A or sa built-in support tayo nag-start ng x. I-denote natin yung intensity ng load at this point as A. By ratio and proportion, load W is to length is equal to C is to x. Therefore, C is equal to Wx over L. Magtake tayo ng moment at distance x. Moment is equal to EIY double prime is equal to yung RB muna, pataas, magkikreate ng positive moment. Moment arm yan hanggang distance x is x. Minus yung triangular load, 1 half. Yung intensity niya na say, ang say is Wx times L times length na x. Ito pa lang yung ating load. Times moment arm niya hanggang distance x is equal to 1 third ng x. Rewriting that equation equal to Rbx minus Wx cubed over 6L. I-integrate lang natin yung EIY double prime equal yan sa EIY prime or slope equation. RB, integrate natin yung x equal yan sa x squared over 2. Minus W over 6L, integrate natin yung x cubed equal yan sa x fourth over 4. Do not forget the constant of integration plus C1. Yung term na to ay equal sa Wx to the fourth over 24L. Integrate natin ulit ng isang beses para makuha yung value ng EIY. Equal yan sa RB over 2, X cubed over 3, minus W over 24L, X to the pip over 5, plus C1X plus C2. I-simplify lang natin yung ating deflection equation equal to sa RB X cubed over 6, minus WX to the pip over 120L plus C1X plus C2. Ito yung ating moment equation, slope equation, and deflection equation. Step number 5. Evaluate the constants of integration from the boundary conditions. Dahil sa point B tayo nag-start ng X, therefore, iyon yung ating zero mark. 
Thus, when the value of x is equal to 0, y prime is not 0, but y is equal to 0. And when the value of x is equal to L, the value of y prime is equal to 0, and the value of y is equal to 0 also. Yung first boundary condition na gamitin natin is when the value of x is equal to 0, and when the value of y is equal to 0. Using the deflection equation, y0, x0, x0, therefore the value of c2 is equal to 0. Yung next boundary condition, when the value of x is equal to L, the value of slope or y prime is equal to 0. Using the slope equation, y prime 0, rb, palitan lang natin ng L hat ng x, L squared over 2, minus w L to the fourth over 24L plus c1. Makakancel yung isang L, so ito ay magiging cube. Tawagin natin yung equation na to as equation 1. Yung next boundary condition, when the value of x is equal to L, the value of deflection is equal to 0. Using the deflection equation, y0, palitan lang natin ng L lahat ng x, rb L cube over 6, minus w L to the pip over 120L, plus c1L, c2 is equal to 0. Makakancel ulit yung isang L, ito ay magiging to the fourth. Ipag-equate lang natin yung equation 1 and equation 2 para meron tayong value na makuha. Pag-subtrakin lang natin yung equation 1 and equation 2, then i-multiply natin yung equation 1 ng L para makancel out yung C1 sa equation. Ito na ngayon yung kakalabasan na equation. Then makakancel na yung term na to kasi pag pinag-add natin sila, equal to 0, RBL cube over 2 minus RBL cube over 6 is equal to RBL cube over 3. Negative WL to the fourth over 24 plus WL to the fourth over 120 is equal to negative WL to the fourth over 30. By computation, the value of RB is equal to WL over 10. Pwede natin gamitin yung equation 1 or equation 2 para makuha yung value ng C1. Using equation 1, isubstitute lang natin yung value ng RB na WL over 10. 0, RB is equal to WL over 10, multiplied by L squared over 2, minus WL cube over 24, plus C1, iyon yung unknown. Computing that, the value of C1 is equal to negative WL cube over 120. Using the equations of static equilibrium, makukuha na natin yung value ng MA and shear A. By applying summation of all forces vertical is equal to 0, shear A plus RB is equal to WL over 10 minus 1 half ng W times L is equal to 0. Shear A is equal to WL over 2 minus WL over 10 and the value of shear A is equal to 2WL over 5. By taking the summation of moment at point A is equal to 0 and taking all counterclockwise rotation as positive, yung RB muna, WL over 10, counterclockwise rotation yan, at ang moment arm is L hanggang point A, Next, yung MA, counterclockwise rotation, kaya positive MA. Next is yung uniformly varying load, clockwise rotation, so negative, 1 half, W, times L. Ito pa lang yung load, at ang moment arm yan hanggang point A is equal to 1 third ng L. Is equal to 0. Arranging that, MA is equal to WL squared over 6 minus WL squared over 10. And the value of MA is equal to WL squared over 5. The last problem that we needed to answer is the value of the flexion at the midspan of the beam. When the value of X is equal to L over 2 at the midspan, ano daw yung value ng deflection? 
Using the deflection equation and the value of C1, C2, and Rb na nakuha natin kanina, masosob na natin ngayon yung value ng deflection at midspan. EIY is equal to Rb, WL over 10. Palitan lang natin ng L over 2 yung X. L over 2 cube. Meron pa yan dito 6. Minus W. L over 2 raised to the fifth over 120L. Then the value of C1 is equal to WL cube over 120 multiplied by X, L over 2, and C2 is 0. Isimplify natin ang konti, equal to sa WL to the fourth over 480 minus WL to the fourth over 3840 minus WL to the fourth over 240. And the value of EIY is equal to negative 3WL to the fourth over 1280. And we can also write that the value of deflection at midspan is equal to 3WL to the fourth over 1280 EI downward. Or pwede din naman na arrow sign.